اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين اياك نعبد واياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين كونوا مع الصادقين Esteem viewers throughout the length and breadth of this beautiful green land of ours Guyana is a land of six people Yours truly, Abdurrahman Khan from the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jama'at Guyana. Along with my uh, colleagues, to my right is the national president of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jama'at Guyana, Mr. Aftabuddin Nasser. And next to him is the national secretary of Tabligh, or preaching of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jama'at Guyana, Brother Ismail Muhammad. And of course, you are quite familiar with the missionary in charge, Maulana Asan al Sahab, who is next to Brother Ishmael. We are here all to welcome you to this segment of Tabshir, the Voice of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Which simply means, may the peace, blessings, and mercy of God Almighty be upon you all. Esteemed viewers, today uh, we are presenting the 32nd annual convention, Jalsa Salana, this being the last day of our nine, 2013 uh, Jalsa in one at our location at the national headquarters, 198 Ornak and Landscape, Landscape Street, uh, Queenstown, Georgetown. And the topic today is World Crisis and the Pathway to Peace. This is the topic of our annual convention. And the book you see, the very small book I'm having, uh, showing you here, um, it is actually the collection of the speeches, the lectures of His Holiness, the head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat Guyana, the only Khalifa in the world today, His Holiness, Hadrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad. I wish if uh, it were possible to bring up the picture a bit closer so that you could watch it. I, and uh, His Holiness is uh, right now in Australia delivering the same message, the message of um, world crisis path and the pathway to peace, justice and equality for all in the world. This being the uh, theme of our convention and uh, we hope one day His Holiness would come to uh, visit our dear land Guyana. And as you can see the picture up there, His Holiness Hadrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, Supreme Spiritual Head of the Worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim Community in Islam. Now, to give you a little more um, insight into what we're going to do today at our annual convention as you watch this program, the Jalsa starts at uh, 10 o'clock, but I would like the National President uh, to explain to the viewers what to expect today, as every year we have this convention. Like in all the countries of the uh, 207 countries of the world, where the Jamaat is uh, established, we have this convention. And uh, the, the, the verse, the very short verse of the Holy Quran, I recited in the very beginning, Kunu ma'a sadiqin, and be ye with the truthful. And all that's going to be discussed at the convention today is the truth about Islam, the truth about what Islam presents about justice and equality, and the crisis that we have in the world at hand. How is it to be solved? Brother Aftabuddin Nasser. Thank you very much, sir. The Jalsa Salana, as uh, we are here, this we are hosting our 32nd. Jalsa Salana, as you said, is uh, being held in all the countries of the world where our Jamaat is established. It is one of the premier uh, items in our calendar of activities. 
And this, as, uh, as we all, all know, it happens wherever our Jamaat is established. So. The purpose of the Justice Lana is to bring our brethren together. Like in, in Guyana here, we have Jamaats in Burbies, Linden, Georgetown, and we have a Jamaat at uh, Madia. We want to bring all our brothers together and uh, so that we may foster a, or strengthen the bond between, between us. And at the same time, we would like to invite all the Muslim brethren and all, all the general public, the seekers of truth, and those who want to be part of peace and justice. As you have mentioned, our Imam, our spiritual leader, his focus is on peace, equality, and justice. And in our Justice Alana, this is one of the aspects of Islam, that uh, Islam itself means peace. And so we want to share that peace. Right now, we think the world is lacking peace. And as you said, our Imam, his message, he has been taking that at the very highest forums. Uh, he went and addressed the, the house, two houses at Capitol Hill, Euro European Parliament, the UK Parliament, and he has been taking this message all over. And so we want to invite the, the general public to come and be part of that message and find out about the truth of Islam. Thank you very much, Brother Abdullah Nasser. And uh, to add to this, uh, uh, I will uh, kindly ask uh, Brother Ishmael, uh, what, how, what kind of attendance we expect today, today being the climax of the Jal Salana? And uh, certainly you heard mention of the Jamaat in different parts of the country. And he being the Secretary of Tabligh, he has a better idea what kind of attendance and the people he has invited. Brother Ishmael. Yeah. Well, the attendance is that we were looking at persons from all walks of life, at all levels, from the head of state right down to the newborn babe, irrespective of the political, religious, or ethnic persuasions. We have the message. This is not about wrong and right path. This is the straight path. And we're dealing with Islam. And Islam is a peaceful way of life. And we are carrying that message in respect of the peaceful real life, which the Rasulullah so has, in, so has continued and the promised Messiah has straightened out and the Khalifa is guiding us. And we're keeping on that straight path. And that message is what we will give to everyone so that because we have to coexist. There is tolerance and we have to exercise patience and we hold steadfast and seek to keep people on that straight path as they come on. We might be in Guyana in percentage, a small amount compared to the other Muslim groups, but in percentage, we have the more, we are more in the sense of learn and knowledgeable. So this give us complete, not plus run away, where that is concerned. So we are in front. Thank you very much, Brother Ishmael. It's quite a pleasure to know that you work and endeavor so hard to get uh, a large amount of uh, dignitaries, public people to attend this convention and to make us understand what this convention is all about. We as the missionaries, myself and the missionary in charge, um, have experienced so much uh, jalsas in the national international headquarters in Pakistan, as well as uh, here in Ghana and different other countries, in the Caribbean as well. Certainly, he would like to tell us about the purpose of this jalsa. What do we, as missionaries, who want to let every single Guyanese know the truth about Islam, the real message of Islam, what is the purpose of this annual convention that every single Ahmadi in Ahmadi Muslim, our friends, and our uh, you know those who are familiar with the community, they expect to look forward to something in this convention every year. Molana Saab, would you kindly explain? The aim of the gathering in the word of the Prophet Messiah is the major aim of the gathering is that the sincere members of the Jamaat should be able to drive religious benefits and at the same time 
they should acquire more knowledge and advance in their God realization. One advantage is that meeting their friends will broaden their circle of brotherhood and it will be strengthened mutual and it will strengthen mutual ties. This is in the book named Asmani Fesla. So the Prime Minister explained that and uh, this is um, no, not for only the membership as uh, the brothers and sisters in Guyana are well aware of this convention. Many of them, um, myself and other members of the Jamaat, including Brother Ismail and uh, local President Abdul Jabbar, we went to house to house, person to person, um, deliver this invitation uh, ourselves and we try to make some phone calls, we try to send this message through the television previous week and uh, this is our maybe last day of the Jalsa and we are sending the same message that uh, along with the membership of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community we have a large number of brothers and sisters from Muslim community and brothers and sisters from non-Muslim communities um, coming down from Linden, coming down from Bobi, uh, coming down right from the Georgetown and uh, um, I want to highlight how this Jalsa is important to uh, not only make us to understand but also it is the same time educating people. I was just walking to the Boda market yesterday and uh, just in one corner I passed and the people were just talking and then they were making some um, remarks which are not worthy of mentioning here about Muslim and even they are talking about something good about it but still same time the language they use it was very you know um, shameful. So I told them that I'm walking from uh, not far from you and you see me as a Muslim dress up so you should show respect. Don't be disrespectful. And the person apologized and uh, they asked me that uh, if that is true, well, Muslims share out money. And uh, I told them every religion teaches the same thing, that uh, poor should be given some help. And uh, from our religion, the people teach the same thing. Now, another brother who was sitting here, he changed the topic and uh, tried to, you know, be comfortable. And he said um, he wants to know about the white stone. If I know about the white stone, I say, yes, I study Islam, but what st white stone you're talking about? He say, I say, who tell you about white stone? He say, read, he read in the book himself. So I say, which white stop, uh, stone you're talking about? Tell me a little story so I can understand which white stone you're talking about. He said, the stone which Prophet Muhammad had um, put in Kaaba. So I said, that's not white stone, that is black stone. So you can just imagine the knowledge people are getting sometime even they uh, saying that they read it in the book. So uh, these are the situations where sometimes people can be uh, not right. familiar with a small, small things about it. It's a black stone, not the white stone. Mm -hmm. So this uh, convention where our, our non-Muslim brothers and sisters come from Christian background, from Hindu background, even pundits and pastors, we invite them, we go to their convention. This is to make everybody familiar with their each other religion. So that will uh, make us able to understand better and show respect to each other same time we learning about God realization according to the words of the promised Messiah. Thank you very much Maulana Sahib. In fact, when the promised Messiah, Hadrat Mirza Ghulam Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, whom we have accepted as Imam Mahdi and al-Masih al-Ma'ud, the promised Messiah, Satin Qadian, and Allah told him in very clear-cut revelation, Main teri tabli ko zameen ke kanaro tak pochaunga, in Urdu language, I shall cause thy message to reach the corners of the world. No one would have imagined that we would have been sitting in a TV channel today in a remote corner of the world, no, in a country known as Guyana, a small country, and uh, discussing Jalsa Salana, which started in 1891 in Kadian, the very village of the Promised Messiah, and you heard the aim of the, the gathering, and at that time, only 75 people attended. Today, hundreds of thousands of people attend Jalsas throughout the world. And right now, as we speak, esteemed viewers, His Holiness, Hadrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, Supreme Spiritual Head of the Ahmadi Muslim Jamaat Guyana, is in the Far East, he's in Australia, and he's discussing these topics with the community members and encouraging them to spread the message of peace and tolerance, the real message of Islam, as he, the Promised Messiah said, that this is not an ordinary gathering. It is essentially said, that all those who are able to afford to travel should attend the Jalsa in so many ways a source of blessings. They should not mind minor losses in this way. God gave ample reward to sincere believers and every step 
of hardship and trouble goes not to waste at all. It is definitely rewarded by God Almighty every sacrifice you make. I should like to repeat, he says, that this jalsa must not be treated like any ordinary gathering. This is an affair that has been based on the source of God. It was an announcement made on the 7th of December, 1891. And that was prior to the jalsa in which 75 people came. Today, as I, I told you, we are going to discuss uh, the world crisis and pathway to peace. And that's such a hot topic in the world today. Everybody is seeing as though we are going to enter into a third world war. And no doubt you've heard the national president talk about the Khalifa going to different forums of the highest order in the world. And whatever we can do in the country, the president is going to tell you our efforts that we have been making so far by distributing pamphlets, by distributing literature throughout this country wherever we can with our meager resources. I'm certain he would like to give you the report. Pres Mr. President. One of the... Um, just recent, just a few decades ago, the uh, third successor of the the founder of our Jamaat, Hazrat uh, Mesa Nasir Ahmad, had adopted a slogan, which is love for all and hatred for none. And all over the world, that slogan has become so popular in Europe, in Africa, in uh, North America, in the UK, all over. It is a well-known slogan. And I should think that people would now want to attach it to the Ahmadi, Ahmadi Jamaat and, um, and Ahmadis as a whole. And so our focus uh, is to share that message of love. We even want to omit the hate. The message of love is what Islam also teaches. We are trying to let our brothers and sisters, or, or as, you, as you mentioned, from other denominations, to try to learn and understand about Islam so that we can have an appreciation of each other's faith, our beliefs, and uh, what we stand for. Similarly, we want to also give the message of peace to all people, every single person on the planet. We have a task to distribute these leaflets, uh, these uh, on the whole Islamic literature to every person as, fo as far as uh, possible. And we have a time frame, and we are we are hope to achieve that, inshallah. Uh, the purpose is that, uh, as we know, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was, uh, has come, and he is a universal prophet, and his message is meant for all mankind. And so, every Muslim has that responsibility to spread that message. The the message that was initiated by the Prophet of Allah, we have to continue his work. So basically, Ahmed Jamaat is in the forefront of this, and um, our objective is to foster peace and share love all over. Thank you very much, Brother Aftabuddin Nasir. Certainly, all our uh, preaching efforts being on NCN itself today, and like every other Sunday when we are on NCN, is to convey that same message. And I'm certain, Brother Ishmael, would like to uh, touch up before we close off today. We have very few minutes remaining and him and the missionary in charge. So I'll go to Brother Smile and with a few, within a few minutes, just explain what have we been able to achieve for the year and in so many uh, years before and up to now and that, you know, we are on the road, on the path to progress and prosperity. No, I find that the message of peace is taken on in Guyana, regardless whether a Muslim, non-Muslim, or Ahmadi or non-Ahmadi. The message is going home to persons and persons can see a clear distinction between the message of peace that is being propagated by the Ahmadi Muslim Jamaat and other Muslims that who does not follow the guidance of the Ahmadi Muslim Jamaat. In that, one of the straight things is that where we have Islam that is being translated into English and it is mentioned as Islam, Islam is Arabic. Islam translated into English means a peaceful way of life. And so Islam, the message of the Prophet is peace. It, is, it has nothing to do with war. It's peace. The religion is a peaceful way of life. And that is the message that we are sending. So though you might find that Persons might have some adverse thinking. 
psychologically when they hear about Islam because you might see some misguided people doing some strange and funny things um, to take it as that is Islam. But persons do these things under the banner of Islam, but Islam is peace. The way of peaceful way of life is Islam. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Brother Ishmael. And, uh, you know, today is the last day of the convention, and we would like to encourage you all, those who are listening to us, there's still time, and I'm sure Molana Mango Saab would like to in encourage you all to come out, and he has so much to say, but the time is running out. Please, Molana Saab. Jazakumullah, Jazakumullah. Myself and Brother Ishmael, uh, once again, we extended the invitation in one of the famous great grocery store, and the owner uh, had uh, seen the invitation, and he said he loved our motto, love for all, hatred for none, and he would try to come to this convention. And of course, this brother was not Muslim, and we request him if he is unable to come, he can send a delegate from his store. Uh, of course, I have been receiving calls from my friends and uh, members of the Jamaat, dear friends. They have been calling on the, our number 226-7634. Uh, this is our last day of Jalsa. We want to once remind again that lunch will be served for everyone who will be present. So this morning, we are reminding you that if you were there yesterday, uh, being part of our convention, we welcome you once again. Today is the final day. If you had missed yesterday, kindly come at 198 Corners and Lance Jeep Street. Uh, Queenstown, our number is 226-7634. Please call us or ca come without even calling between 10 to 12, inshallah. This is our final day and we're reminding all of our brothers and sisters who came yesterday, this is the final day, and who missed yesterday, kindly come today. Uh, thank you very much, Mawlana Sahib. In fact, <coughs> the promised Messiah, uh, Hadrat Mirza Ghulam Muhammad, alayhi salatu wasalam, uh, whom we accept to be the Imam Mahdi and the promised Messiah, the one who came in, instead of uh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who's dead, buried in Kashmir, and... Uh, the one who fulfilled the, the uh, rejuvenation of the whole of the world. Islam is for the entire world, esteemed viewers. Um, he said concerning this convention, he, ma he made a prayer for the people who attend this convention. And he said, I pray to God that he may be with all those who are coming to attend this Jalsa. And that he may grant them great reward and he may show mercy and his grace. God, O oh ye who are the greatest grantor, the benevolent, the merciful, and the remover of all hardships. Do listen to all these prayers of mine and grant us victory over our opponents with glaring signs for you have the power to do whatever you like. I mean, this was published on a uh, notice of 7th December, 1891, few days before the first ever convention of this nature ever on earth. Now, oh, many people, um, they don't understand, they hear about this Jalsa, they hear the Ahmadis of a Jalsa, but they don't know what this convention is all about. It is spiritual in nature. Every single topic is going to be discussed at this convention. Today being the last day, you're going to hear about the Holy Quran. You're going to hear about the service, the, 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 you know, the spirit of sacrifice that the promised Messiah Hadrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, alayhi salatu wasalam, his love and his passion for the service of Islam. Somebody is going to be delivering a lecture on that topic. And of course, the main topic is that world crisis and the pathway to peace. His Holiness, Hadrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed, has delivered at different forums of the world, quoting from the Holy Quran, quoting from instances in the life of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wasalam, how Islam is so full of love and justice. We are inviting you to this way of life, esteemed viewers. Every Sunday we come and sit with you. It is for you to understand this noble religion, the peace, the love, the tranquility it has to offer all of us. We have experienced it. We would like you to experience it too. And we have now almost come to the end of our time today. And you may, you are welcome. You have heard that we are serving lunch today as usual after the conclusion of the convention. You may even come in with your questions. I'm sure many of you would have so many questions about Islam, about what, what is this about the promised Messiah. You may have questions about that. Many who believe that, you know, Jesus Christ went to heaven and came back on earth and all of that, feel free to come in. We are very tolerant. We would like to hear your questions. When you hear our answers, then decide what is right, what is wrong. It's your choice. Islam is all about there is no compulsion in the matter of religion. 
So please come in today. We are looking forward to your attendance, and you may call us. Uh, we've been receiving calls from dignitaries, from embassies, and so on, those who are going to come, those who cannot make it this year, and all of that. And we wish to see you all. May God's blessings, grace, and mercy be upon you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. May the peace, blessings, and mercy of God Almighty be upon you all.